I'm Nancy, Pampered with Diamonds. Today, I'm going to start a Thanksgiving canvas, and I'm going to do it in two whipping chats so you don't get bored too quick. But today, I'm, do, I'm going to do the kit up, and I'm only kitting it up because I'm spreading it out over two days. But it's a small enough kit. I could probably do it in one session, but I didn't want this to be a really long video. So here we go. All right, as you can see, it is thankful and blessed, and it is a partial, and it is one that I found at Walmart. This canvas, this is, feels hollow actually. Let me see. Oh, it'll come up. It is hollow, guys. There's not even styrofoam in it. So. Yeah, it's just folded over thick cardboard, like um, cardstock. So this is not sticky. These are. So, but we're going to start with kitting it up. Let's see if I can put that. There we go. Let me see. There we go. That's better. It's actually better. This is the pen that came with it, the boat. And I don't know what happened to the wax, but I do have some handy dandy wax. So we are going to kit this up. So how is everybody today? What do you guys do for Thanksgiving? We go and see my mother-in-law for Thanksgiving. She lives in Tennessee. And we're going to try to see my sister, who also lives in Tennessee. And um, that's our plans. I usually have my grandson when we go to Tennessee, but I don't know if we're going to have him this time. So we will see. My grandson lives in Tampa. Well, not Tampa. Spring Hill. Close to where the mermaids are. He lives in the town where the mermaid um, is. The mermaid park. So. But we, we may have him. Not sure. Oh, this is not working out. I need a better tray. This so happens I have a better tray. Did you see that bonus? I'll have to show you. Did you see that big gem that fell out? Of these little ones? There he is. Let me get these back in. And I'll show you. Come on, fall out. That was in my A. Pretty funny. Come on. That was a bonus. And you can go over there. You can go over there. So we're going to. All right. Next is B. 
Here is B. B, there you are. So those of you that know, Florida, this is actually filmed in September. September 21st. Nope, September 24th. Um, and we are preparing for a hurricane. We're not going to get much. We're just going to get a really bad thunderstorm. But my son, who lives where the mermaids are, he's going to get more than we are. And so we need prayers and thoughts to go to my son and my other son who lives in um, Bluntstown area. So they're going to see a lot more than we are. It's, it, it'll probably be a two by the time it gets to them. Because once it hits land, hurricanes start to slow down. My husband is a hurricane. That was his special specialty when, oh guys, this is a sticker, but it doesn't come off very well. Anyway, that was a, that was a uh, tangent. Um, so where was I? Yeah, prayers and thoughts for my kiddos and their families. So that would be appreciated. If you could do that. I don't, by the way, I don't really like these little jars, but they work. They work for the small projects. <laughs> they don't work very well for kidding up. I'm making such a mess. But once it's done, it's done. All right, let's try the umbrella. We're going to cut this a different way. Okay, any day now. All go over there. Do leaf. Ooh, look at that one, guys. Come on, camera. There we go. Pretty. And this is just the leaf. The leaf looking thing. And it's going to go. Where are you, little leaf? Here you are, right in here. The acorn. It's 
So if you hear any noises, my husband's outside picking up a bunch of stuff out of the yard because we are going to see some winds. But no big deal. I don't think it's going to be enough to even close schools. But they've closed schools for stranger reasons around here. I'm from New York, and it's got to be really bad to close a school. But to be fair, they, they don't really know how to deal with, like, snowstorms. This is a star. I didn't have one for the pumpkin. So... They don't have the equipment like when we had an ice storm a few years ago. They closed schools, they closed businesses, they closed everything. But they don't, it's because they don't um, have the equipment to deal with, with that stuff. So, and I don't have another jar. You all right there, Mr. Pampered? Okay. Oh, I do. Right here. Duh. You guys are probably like, I see it. I see it. This one's really sparkly, too. Pretty. I hope I have a lot left over so I can use them for other projects. So, let's see. I think I'm going to start with, I think I'm going to use my Diamond Art Club pen. And I think we're going to start with, with the flower. That's what we're going to start with. So we're going to start with the pump. Uh, I don't want to start with that. I just put wax in my pen. So we'll start with D. We're going to do regular drills for right now. Because I don't know how if the wax is going to take off the coating or not. Now... I was doing another painting and I left one of those open off to the side and my elbow hit it, knocked it right on the floor. Now this garage is carpeted. Don't ask me why it's carpeted, but it's carpeted. So I had to dig drills out from the carpet to finish my Winnie the Pooh canvas. Oh no, it was my pumpkin canvas, which you'll see later on. Okay, so we're going to do this. I think I'm going to give this as a gift to somebody. So, come on. It's kind of hard to, to multi-place two on this canvas. Because, I mean, if you can... I am not that good yet. Because it seems like these are diagonal. And I'm not too good with going diagonally, guys. If it was straight, I probably could have done it there. Let's try it. Oh, he tried to get away. All right, we're going to try to multi-place. That looks like it's three. Let's see, where are you? Right there. I did it. Two. Ta-da! Four. Well, this will be a two. I'm doing it. I'm doing it, guys. 
you can multi-place. You just have to put it at an angle. Nice. I'm doing it. All right. So, anyone else pick any of these up? Put it in the comments. If you did, which ones did you get? I got some gingerbread guys at Hobby Lobby for my grandkids. I have a four-year-old grandson who diamond paints. Yep, you heard, diamond paints, four years old. He'll be five in November, but he's pretty good too. He still needs a little help with getting, getting the drill on the pen, but you got patience and time. He'll figure it out. And, uh, yeah, I got his mom into it, and she was like, let him try. He, he does it. He does a good job. And I said, okay. So we were all diamond painting together, and he helped me with a canvas I was working on. So he did great. So I got him his own canvas, and I got... I got his brother a canvas, too, just so he won't bother his brother. So the brothers can have a canvas and not bother each other and get in each other's way because they'll have their own. So, yeah. Okay. Can you hear my stomach? All right. That was pretty funny. Yay. I can't believe him. Wow. I'm getting it. I'm getting these multi-placing at an angle. Hmm. Oh, that wasn't exactly straight. I find if you get a little wax debris on your drills, keep another spare pen on the side that has no wax and just put it around the edge of the drill and it'll suck it right up like a piece of eggshell. When you get an eggshell in an egg, if you take the home egg, it'll suck the shell right out. So you don't have to fish around for it. Way cool. Oops. You might notice my husband fast forwards through some of my kidding up or kidding down or whatever. And I am talking in those videos, but he puts music in the background. And, and when he does that, when I do my next whipping chat or whatever I'm doing, showing you stuff, I don't know what I've told you and what I didn't tell you because... You didn't get to hear it anyway. But I try to think of new things to talk about because I feel like I've already talked about it. But he's put music over it while he fast forwards. So 
Sometimes I just don't know what to say because I think I've said it already. For some reason, this tray is not working with me. Does anybody talk to their drills while you're placing stuff? I'm always like, come on, go down there. Sounds like they're building something across the street. I don't know what they're building. I think the neighbor is turning their garage into a, a room of some sort. I don't know if it's going to be a bedroom, a studio, or what, but he's doing a lot of work over there. So... Don't see any more D's, do you? Okay. I don't hear anything. So let us do no. C. Oh, I gotta put the cover on. Remember what you did, Nancy? Okay. All right. Oh, that's a one. I'm not that good. Some people I've seen can uh, put some diamonds on this end and then some on that end and go choop choop choop. I'm not. I'm not that. At, I'm not at that point yet. Nope. Not yet. I'm going to try putting on this light. It's much better for me. I don't know if it is for you. Well, that worked out good. I was working with one of my pens one time. And I was running out of wax in the tip of the pen and I was trying to make it work for a few more goes and I picked up the drill and it fell right where it was supposed to fall and I was like nice yeah I haven't been able to do that again come on I'm going to I don't know what I'm going to do. I was going to say something. Oh, I'm going to do Christmas Joy for Jingle Drills. My first um, event with Emerald and Fairy Lights. So I'm getting ready to 
kit that up as soon as I'm done with my Randall Spangler mystery. So, yeah. That mystery is coming out so good. Spoiler alert for what I'm about to say. So if you want to fast forward about 10 seconds, you can. But all I'm going to say about it is it's making me hungry. Mm -hmm. All right. No more Spangler. Oh, more. Oh, is there no more C's? Oh, there they are. Right there. These drills, I don't know if it's the tray or the drills, but they're not lining up very nicely. I'm wanting to stay clumped together. And I don't want them clumped together. There's another one, and another one, and another one. At filming, I had 156 subscribers. I'm so excited, guys. So excited. I did not know this would be a thing for me. I started my channel a couple of years ago and I started it as a cooking channel. But I stopped. COVID happened and I just lost interest in a lot of things as a lot of people. COVID made them change their mind on things. So I did put a recipe up. If you've seen it, did you enjoy it? Did I miss a step? Would you make it again? Anything you want to know, because I'm not afraid to make things. The only thing I won't, I won't cook lobster. I won't cook any kind of hard shell creatures. No crab, no lobster. And I don't eat or cook with mushrooms or peas. Not my favorite. Not my favorite. If I do put peas in for my husband, I pick them out and put them on his plate. So he gets the nutrition from the pea. I do not need the nutrition from the pea. I do not like peas. We went out to dinner with a friend of ours and I got <clears throat> I got fried rice, I think it was. And I was picking the peas out and I gave them to my husband. Well, one got away and I ate a pea. And they were cracking up because my face, and I kind of go, this is me. So they knew I got a pee. And they were laughing. And then they were like, are you okay since you ate a pee? And I said, yes, I'm fine. But I did not like it. I thought that was kind of funny. <laughs> I do the same thing when I 
get a mushroom. Don't like mushrooms either. Not my cup of tea. I think we're almost done with seeds. I'd say that we are done with seeds. That was a pretty quick seed. That was a little, little dud. So I'll put him with the trash. And now we'll do E. And this is E. More in the flower. We're going to try a three. Nope, that won't work there. Won't work there either. Might work there. Yep. Okay. See? Oh, he doesn't want to leave. I guess it's just better the single place at this point. I like this flower, the way it's coming out. Mailman came. I'm not getting any mail today. I mean, there might be a bill in there for me. But no fun mail. No fun mail. Anybody still like getting snail mail? I mean, not just packages. Like, anybody write letters anymore? Or do you just do emails? This is coming out pretty cool. And it's a, a simple project not too hard. It's great for kids. I would definitely. It's a good learner project too. I think it was like 580 something like that. 588, 488. Something like that. So it's not too expensive. You can get for someone who's learning to see if they like the craft. And then uh, if they do, you can get them something bigger. Or maybe not. Maybe this is what they like. still a glare did I move still looks good it's 
Yep. We've got friends wanting to know about the hurricane, the storm, because it's just going to be a storm here. It's not really going to be a, a hurricane. So... I found a D right there. Oh, how many of you are color chasers? Like, if you're working on a square on a canvas, and but you're not real good about staying in the square because the color you're working on has a few on the outer edge and then you figure I've got a few more drills left on the tray let me go get it I am a color tracer tra chaser and I can't I have a hard time stopping at the square if I have a few drills left and I see that there's a few letters over there I will go get it until I run out of the drills on the tray. I won't refill a tray. So there's that. But yeah, I didn't know that was a thing. As you know, I watch YouTube channels and someone had said that that's called color trace chasing. So I guess that's what I am is a color tra chaser. So, I also have food on the stove, so when my timer goes off, I'm going to have to go and get it. I can smell it. It's a pastelle, and I'm so excited. A pastelle is like a Puerto Rican... I don't even know how to describe it. It's uh, like a pumpkin and yucca um, mashed up. And then you add chicken and olives and or pork, green olives. And you mix it and you put it in a banana leaf. I don't really know how it's made. I made it once as a kid with my mom but she passed away with the recipe. So I don't know how to make it. I remember it being a two day process. So I did find a Puerto Rican restaurant in the area that sells them. So I picked them up, picked up about a dozen. So and there's my dog fussing fussing I have a fan blocking his way in here so he can't come in so he's not very happy with me These are going to take a minute. I'm going to try with the wax and see how it goes. Not bad. It's going pretty good, actually.
Yeah. I'm using the blue wax and it's going fine. going to have to stop right now and I may start it back up in a few seconds a few minutes okay hold on did you miss me I'm back and I'm gonna finish up these pumpkins all right close this What I've learned is these gems work better in this tray than the regular drills. So the pastelis are wrapped in a banana leaf and then in paper and they're frozen, they're tied with string and then froze until you're ready to eat them. And then when you want to eat them, you have to boil them in water for an hour and 15 minutes. So we're going to my sister's for dinner. She's making some pork ribs with sauerkraut and Spanish rice. And I'm going to put, and I got a pastelli in there for her, my nephew, and my friend. Rhonda and so we're going to have pastelis for dinner so excited they are so delicious they are an acquired taste though I think you I, most people that have not been brought up with them don't like them I have not I've introduced them to my friends here in Florida and they they taste them and they're not really a big fan they think it's a thickener they said it reminds them of a thickener for a gravy <laughs> i think that's just funny because it's nothing like a thickener but yeah so when we buy them because they're a little pricey like five dollars each i buy like 12 and uh I don't I let them know in advance, hey, we're having pastelli. I know you don't like it, so bring your own chicken or whatever. Now, any more pumpkins? Not seeing any more pumpkins. So I'm gonna put the pumpkins back. Now I have look how much extra I have, guys. I can use them for another kit. I'm so excited. Those of you who know me know I like to bling. I like to bling it up. So now we need the umbrella. Umbrella. Probably didn't need that many. But. Are we still in camera? Yes. Umbrella. Very nice. Come on. Very nice. This flower is coming out so nice. This is just going to be one video, but I'm actually going to do it over two days because when I'm done with this, I'm going to 
get dinner together and work on my Randall Spangler until it's time to go to my sister's house. I, my goal today is to find one of the characters' faces in my mystery. So that's where I'm at. This is coming a long, nice, Someone just came into the house. Household noises, guys. You can't can't avoid it because we're all in a house. And we hear household noises and household people noises and voices. Not going to have complete silence, especially if you have a pet in the house. see any more umbrellas I do not got a bunch of those left over too and something I noticed on these packages they give the DMC number see 701 this one's 444 And I'm going to put 701 back in his jar. Now I need the star. And that's that big one. So we need a few of those. I wonder if the star has a number. Let's see. It just says large gem. That's funny. Because that's, that's what it is. And do I have my tweezers in here? No. So we're going to try, let's try this, haha, -ha. Pretty. All right. I think I want to do some of the leaf, the maple leaf. I feel like I have a little bit more time. So Yeah. Maple leaf is green.
do you like the longer videos or should I stick with my typical shorter ones? I don't usually like to go over a half hour in my videos, but I will if you guys like it. And if you get to the end of this, make sure you put a flower emoji at the end. This is coming out just fine. That's pretty funny when I go to put one in. There's none on there. Two more at least. And then I'll probably just wrap it up for now. And then we will continue for another filming. All right. All right, guys. We will see you. You'll see me in just a quick shake. <laughs> Bye. Here we are. We are going to start with acorn. And let's get started. Just went to my sister's for dinner. It was really good. We had pork ribs with the sauerkraut and the Spanish rice and the pastele. And it was delicious. So... It was very, very good. What are some of your favorite dishes? Is it pasta and meatballs? Lasagna? Baked ziti? Shepherd's pie? Any one of those? All right, we got more acorns down here, guys. I love this elbow. I got it at Michael's. Really good pen and watch. It lights up. Off. On. So. I can DP in the dark. turn it around so I can get these guys right here
so. You probably can hear the TV in the living room. My husband is home watching TV. He is allowed, but it's part of household noises. Come on, turn over. So I finally spoke with my son and he is getting ready tomorrow he's going to most likely have to go in and work he works for Disney so he's going to ha probably have to go in but he's trying to see if they'll work with him because the schools are closed where he lives and the daycare that my grandson goes to is also closed tomorrow. So they are trying to, his supervisor is trying to get permission so he can work from home tomorrow. So that would be good. Okay, we're going to finish this leaf, the maple leaf. Okay, I'm going to put it there. But I forget, you guys have to see what I'm doing. So my grandson was telling me that there's a hurricane coming tomorrow. So and they are getting ready. They're going to board up some windows to their home tomorrow. So that they live in a cinder block house. So they should be okay. It's just windows are glass and there's nothing you can do about those. So he's uh, going to put board on them so that they, if wood, if trees or uh, an, an acorn or whatever doing 80 miles an hour doesn't break their windows so that's why the boards go up so yeah because you don't want an acorn or a nut doing 80 miles an hour coming through your window we had a couple of pecan trees on my property and uh we uh we board up our windows as well because a pecan doing 80 miles an hour is uh, pretty strong. <laughs> it's so easy to go fishing. Maybe you'll flip. Oh. All right. All right. So now we need a bee. Let's do the bees. Bee. Hmm. 
don't know if I asked you guys this already, but what do you dress up as for Halloween? And I hope I'm not repeating myself. What events? Okay, I really think I did ask you about your costume. So, what events? Anybody know what events are coming up for the next three or four months? It is October. So, I know there's with um, shenanigans with the birds. I know she's doing skulls slash Halloween. Um, but that's all I know for October. Well, and I know November, Diamond Painting with Jack is doing a Hello Kitty event. And I know you can use um, cat painting. So go to their channels and get the specifics because I don't know if it has to be licensed or unlicensed or if it can be anything. So go ahead over to their channels and they are part of Diamond Painting with Friends. So you have to go and get the specific. Who's doing jingle drills? I am. I am so excited. I didn't do thrills and thrills and chills. I didn't do that one because I just wanted to do smaller events for September, October or September and I did a change of seasons with diamonds and thoughts and if you watched one of my earlier videos where I found a Winnie the Pooh and Friends diamond dots canvas at the local thrift store here for $4.99 so that was the good Lord telling me that I needed to participate in Eeyore's event, which is put on by Starlight Starbright 70. So I did that one and I completed it and I blinged up Eeyore. And I did a change of seasons. I did Farmer's Market by Diamond Dots. And I blinged up the license plate and the arrow on the truck. I like to bling things up. So, yeah, I'm a blinger. So I did those two events and I actually won a prize with a change of seasons events. And I won a Diamond Dots canvas and an Oraloa Kansas canvas. And I've never had an Oraloa. So I'm excited, too, to work on that one. So I'm trying to see what events they have so I can enter with that canvas. So I'm excited to do that. And I've ordered a canvas from Fallen, Fallen, Fallen Gems. And it's a landscape. Well, it's actually more of a portrait. The physical size is a portrait. But it's landscape. The picture is of the landscape with a camper on it. I'm a camper. I have a camper. So I thought that would be cute. And it's a new to me company. So I figured I would try it. And they are sending me a canvas 
to do for free to give them an honest review. And I plan on doing just that. So it's going to take a while to get here. I'm okay with that because I have so many other things to do. I want to get my Christmas Joy by Diamond Art Club painting ready to go. I want to get her kitted up. And I know I can't start it till November 15th. I have to submit the picture with a code word attached to the front of it. So I'm going to do that. I won't start it, but I am going to kit it up soon as I'm done with my Randall Spangler. So, because I'm going to use the Diamond Art Club storage system to kit it up in. So, and right now it's in use. I kind of like it. I think it's a neat storage system. So my other son is supposedly getting ready for this storm too. They live in Bluntstown area. So both my sons, the hurricane's going to go right between them. One will be on the east side of the storm, one will be on the west side of the storm. The east side of the storm is always the worst side and that's where my older son lives. So, prayers and thoughts for my family. I think they'll physically be okay, but they may get hit with no power. And my one son down by Tampa, if he loses electricity, he loses water as well because he's got an electric pump. So, and my other son has chickens. I don't know what he's going to do with his chickens. So, this is his first hurricane with chickens. Not for his wife, though. She was brought up with chickens in Florida. So, I'm sure they've got a plan. So I'm just being mom, you know, worried about everything, making sure my kids are okay. Come on, thank you. Well, I thought I wasn't going to need that many more, but apparently I do, because there's a lot of bees. So, pick it up. This one doesn't make that pop pop noise like the other pen does. So I'm in my garage and it's at night so it's not too bad in here. I'm kind of all over the place with conversation here. 
Have you ever been involved in a hurricane? Have you ever, ever lived in Florida or Mississippi or Louisiana? I remember as a kid, Hurricane Gloria, a young adult kid, hit Long Island where I lived. I was dating my husband at the time. And it was pretty funny because it was our first hurricane and he went outside to hook up speakers for my mom. He ran a wire from the speaker in the house to his car so my mom could hear music during the storm because we knew we would lose power because the house we lived in we lost power for everything if you sneeze too hard you would lose power so that's what he did during a hurricane he went outside ran the wire hooked up the speaker plugged it into his car lighter I don't know how he did it. And we had entertainment during the hurricane. Yep. Things we do for our moms. My mom's not here anymore. But my mother-in-law is my mom. So she is also my mom. Almost done with these bees. Then I get to go on to another color. Let us see. Don't see any more bees. Nope. There's a lot of drills left over, guys. A lot of drills left over. So now we are on A's. Got to be careful because this is just thick cardboard. It's not on wood. Just have to be careful.
Ooh, wow. Looking good. Let's see. Can you see a little better? Maybe not. Because of the glare, I'm sure. I can see better. So I'm going to shut this. Thing off. What else, guys? What else do you want to talk about? Hmm? I wish I could uh, see your questions. Like, if I did a live. So, I wanted to do this long whip and chat. So I see a lot of people do them. And they're successful. And I wanted to give it a whirl. So. We'll see how this does. Again, if you make it to the end. Put a flower emoji. This isn't the end. Just saying. If you get to the end. Who knows? I may not make it to the end. I may give up. But I can do it, right guys? I can do this. husband's listening to the storm in there. He is a trained weatherman. And his focus is hurricanes. But he doesn't really do it anymore. He does it. He just keeps track of it, but he doesn't forecast them anymore. Now he just uses his knowledge for friends and family. Okay, why aren't you moving? Okay, there we go. It wasn't moving. Excuse me. <laughs> Hope I didn't blow your eardrums out. When I sneeze, I sneeze pretty loud. Anybody else have a loud sneeze? Or am I the only different person out there?
You see that? I had nothing on it. It's almost done, guys. I think after this, I have one more drill color. I have the single leaf to do. Knock, knock. Good thing these whooping chats are harder to do than they look. All right. I went and got another pen. Come on. Why aren't you working now? Maybe it is. I think it's just the row. The row in the tray is the grooves are kind of tight because it's a cheap tray not like a diamond art club tray or anything like that. Yeah. Some of them are thin, some are wide. They're not, the lines aren't equal. They're not equal. So when you put drills in this row, they're stuck. One more A, come on. All right, the A's are done. So let's see. There's a D and an E. There's a D. One D. One D. 
and then we need some E's and a few. And two more over here. No more E's or D's. All I have left is the single leaf. So let us try they almost look like the same color the pumpkin in that well the pumpkin's a little darker Hmm, interesting. We will see. I can see they're a little darker here. Yeah, you, you can tell they're two different shades. But it's not really that obvious on camera. But it is. So the wax does okay. You know guys, this might have been this might have been better as a ASRM. Is that what it's called? A silent video.
is coming out very nice. This is coming out so shiny. Here we go. I don't think I'm going to have a lot left of this one. This one's going to be close with the amount of diamonds. So let's see how this goes. more over here. Okay. Now we need there and there. I'm trying to think ahead because I have plenty of the other color. So would it look bad if I did that side as a a different gold if it came down to it. Let's see. I have a feeling we might have just enough. Let's see. Okay, guys, here we go. Here we go. The last few, and I think we're going to make it. Wow. Wow. Now, you know I got to bling it up. OK. 
Okay. So, of course, I'm going to use these last two. And I'm going to use some of those. And I'm going to use... We'll do four of those. We'll see. So we got star. Okay, those are what I'm going to use to bling it up. So, very little, a brush. I'm going to put it in there. One there, one there, one there, and then we're going to put here, 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 and here, here. Let's see, where else? That might be all I need. So now we wait till it's no longer white. See how this one's going clear? This one's going clear. Almost, guys. We're getting there. So of course I gotta bling up more, bling it up more. So I'm gonna take this one and it's gonna go here. And then I don't have the patience to wait. Here's the other one. He's going to go there. These are too wet. But this guy is not. One there. One there. Here, oh, he was a little wet, but it was fine. Yeah, you gotta make sure they're almost clear because they will move as you saw. These two are gonna take a minute. Oh, 
Bonitinho. Here. And then we got three more to place. Get in there. See? It sticks. Just got to be patient. And you can fast forward through this if you would like. If you don't want to wait and watch paint dry. I understand. We have to go this way, the map, and one goes there, see that one's not moving, not moving, figured out the formula guys, it's the dot stick. Let's see if I can put this on there without. Oh no. But it'll dry clear. You'll see. That's what happens when I get impatient. And there. You have it all blinged up. I hope you like this. This was fun, and this is a gift for somebody. This somebody will probably watch these videos, so I'm not going to say who I'm going to give them to, give it to. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. Have a good night.